Most people think to raise amazing corn like this that you have to apply lots and lots of synthetic nitrogen and FOSS. Actually, that's a myth. It's what I call the nitrogen myth, and today we're gonna destroy it. Today's episode is sponsored by Regen Ag Labs. Regen Ag Labs is the lab that we trust. It's no myth that corn needs lots of nitrogen and phosphorus to grow this big and this green. The myth is, is that you need to be applying it in large quantities. Check out this complete soil digestion test that we had Regen Labs take. This test shows us that we have an excess of 3,000 pounds in the field we're at right now. There is a problem though. These corn plants can't take up the nitrogen that's just sitting out in our fields on their own because that nitrogen is in the form of organic nitrogen. For the plant to be able to take up organic nitrogen, it needs fungus and bacteria to bring the nitrogen to the plant and convert it to a form that the plant can take up. And if you've been doing years of conventional tillage, you've killed the fungus and the bacteria that the plant needs to take up the nitrogen. We've seen it in our own operation, and that's why we've converted our operation to regenerative agriculture with no-till. But even with doing no-till and cover crops, it takes a while to bring back those fungus and bacteria. So we've done something to be able to access that fungus and the bacteria quicker. What we've done to access that nitrogen is to create our own fungus and bacteria through a composting process called Johnson Sioux composting. Now do not get Johnson Sioux compost mistaken with fertilizer. This is not a fertilizer. Johnson Sioux compost is a fungally dominant compost that you make by putting it in these bins. You take a dry material, you wet it down, and you put it in these bins, water it once a day for a year, and in a year it is fungally dominant compost that is amazing for your crops. To get this compost into your system, you have to make an extract. So we make our compost extract with a Bio5 extractor. So this machine works by filling it full of water, then you turn the air pumps on and you dump compost into the center of it. And then you let that compost sit and let the air go through there and it breaks the compost apart and separates that fungus and the bacteria in it into the water. And then once you have that liquid extract made in 20 minutes, you can apply it in furrow. So we can make 500 gallons in 20 minutes and we apply that in furrow at eight gallons an acre on our corn. And that's what we've been doing for our corn, for our wheat, our milo, and our cover crops. We're making an extract and we're treating the seed. This is really, really effective and efficient because we can utilize 35 uh, pounds of compost and that will make 70 gallons of extract. And with that 70 gallons of extract, we can treat 500 bushels of wheat and that 500 bushels of wheat will do over 500 acres for us drilling that wheat in or in furrow. So it's, and it's a really effective way to get this extract into your system. When we took a DNA analysis of this compost, it showed us it had 670 species of bacteria and fungus. 83% of them made inorganic nitrogen plant available. 49% of them made FOSS plant available. 49% of them made potassium available. Every single micronutrient that the plant needs, a certain percentage of bacteria and fungus makes those micronutrients available for the plant to take up. So we're able to grow this amazing corn with no FOSS and little nitrogen. In fact, this patch that you see here, we only applied 50 pounds of nitrogen. This test strip over here that you see, we only applied 75 pounds of nitrogen. This side has 50 pounds of nitrogen. This side has no nitrogen. And these are test strips to show how, how we're doing. But yeah, 50 pounds, no nitrogen. The thing that blows me away is, it doesn't matter where we applied 100 pounds of nitrogen, 75 pounds of nitrogen, 50 pounds of nitrogen or no nitrogen at all. The corn looks amazing wherever. Here's what the savings looks like for us. 
On our irrigated circles, we typically are applying around 200 pounds of nitrogen every year to hit, hit our yield goals of 200 plus bushel corn. Now we're back to 100 on all of our acres, except for our test strips. On our dry land, we typically apply 100 pounds of nitrogen. We're down to 50 pounds. And on our Milo, we typically apply 80 pounds of nitrogen and we're down to 40. That's a savings of $173,000 for us this year. Do the math for you. How much money would you save if you cut your nitrogen bill in half? The cool thing about saving $173,000 in inputs is that that number doesn't even include the amount of money that we saved in FOSS. In fact, we have eliminated the FOSS from our operation completely, and you can too. We'll explain that in the next video called The Phosphorus Problem. I know that you're asking yourself a question. Why haven't I heard of this before? The reason is, is because we've had so many amazing breakthroughs in the science of the biology behind the bacteria and the fungus and how they interact with the plants. So in the notes for today's video, I'm going to share with you the YouTube videos of the professors and the scientists that I've, I've watched to really learn a lot of the, these things. And I, so I want you to, to be able to watch these videos about what Dr. James White has done, what Dr. David Johnson, who's created the bioreactor that we've made, has done with his amazing wife, Wei Chin Sue Johnson, uh, Dr. Toby Kears out of Amsterdam, and Dr. Christina Jones. All of these uh, professors and scientists have really helped me along the way in being able to do some of the things that we're doing on our farm. And I really encourage you to watch some of these YouTube videos that I'm putting in the notes to help you grow in your knowledge of what's taking place within your soils so that you're able to walk away from the nitrogen myth. Because in talking to Dr. Johnson and his wife, that's what they're saying is most of the best results that they're getting is cutting back nitrogen to 15% of what you used to apply and applying no FOSS. And like I said, we'll talk about FOSS in the next video. If you want to know more about how to grow Johnson Sioux compost, we'll have that in this video right here. And if you want to see what our results were last year and how we raised 200 bushel corn with no nitrogen, no FOSS, that video will be right here. Thanks for watching.